Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our partner 52. Inside this video, we are going to see the concept of column name naming convention in relationships. In the last videos, we had completed all the relationships like one to one, one to many, many to many, has one through, has many through relationships. Also, in case the inverse will be possible also we had seen in the last videos so if you go to the next step so just think about the previous videos when we are learning about one-to-one -one relationship so this is one-to-one -one. inside that video we had taken the example of a student and a branch so if you back to the browser go inside this database so inside this database we have tables called students and also we have a table called branches so if I open this branches table into a next tab inside this students table we have all the entries of student inside this branches table we have the branches name as well as associated with student ID it means a single branch is associated with a single student ID and also a single student is associated with a single branch. Here we have taken a column name as student ID. Student ID is a foreign key inside this branches table but it is associated with the ID column of this students table. Inside last video when we had seen all about one to one relationship then it is perfectly worked. But let's say that in some cases we don't have the column name as student underscore id. It means we have the column as let's say student, we don't have any underscore, we have a simple string student id or something let's say candidate id. So how can we attach? By default Laravel looks all always let's say this is our students table and if we want to create a foreign key it always looks like student underscore id but in those cases if we don't have such type of naming convention we have some different column names so how can we associate so back to editor so first of all if we go inside this models folder inside this models folder we have student.php and inside this model we have a branch method which is returning a single branch which is associated with each student so back to student controller now we are going to use student model for now to understand actually what the things we are going to learn inside this video so first of all we need to load that so use student we have uploaded our model go inside this method and let's say that return student we are going to use scope resolution operator let's say find and inside this find we need to pass student id so let's say that we are going to pass inside this find method we are going to pass student id and let's say that we, are, we want to return the name of the branch so simply i am copying and pasting it here and here we need to use small r so if we save all these changes back to browser and if i type the users as the route name so the 500 student ID whose ID equals to 500 is associated with computer science branch. But let's say that in case if you back to structure of this branches table, keep in mind we are going to change the column name. So press here change. And let's say that student ID something like that. If we click on save, go and reload and as we can see that we are getting some error error is that according to laravel convention the table column name should be something like student underscore id but as we know that inside our table name inside our table the column name is something different so how can we tell our query or to our relationship is that this is not the actual column actually we need to pick for student id instead of that we need to pick let's say student id what we have changed as the new column name so to fix this issue if i back to editor go inside this model and here we have created our relationship so inside the second parameter what i will do 
simply we need to pass the column name. So inside branches table, we have the column name as student ID. So if we save all these changes, go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting the exact data what actually we want. Now let's assume all about one to many relationship. It means a single student has many courses. If I back to database, go here, back to our database. So inside here we have a courses table. Inside these courses, as we can see that the student ID 3 has two different courses. It means a single student is associated with multiple courses. So it is a kind of one to many relationship. So if I back to editor, and again if you back to controller, let's say that we want the courses associated with this 500 ID or instead of that, let's pass user ID means student ID equals to 3. If you save all these changes, go and reload this page. So student ID 3 is associated with two different courses called WordPress and PHP. But also we can see that if we again go inside this courses table, again we have the same naming convention called student underscore id. But in some cases, we also we have let's say some different column names. So in those cases, how can we handle? So simply back to structure, let's change to C hour. So let's say student id, save this change, go and reload this page. So in this case, again we are getting error all about student underscore id means column not found. So by default, this is our liable standard naming convention. But inside this case, we had changed our column name. So back to editor, go inside this model. Here we have created our relationship. So in the second parameter, we need to pass the updated student id. It means the student is associated with courses here we have the courses model which indicates the courses table and inside courses table we have the student id as student id so if we save go and reload this page and the error has gone we are getting the exact data what actually we expected so in all the relationships what we had learned so far let's say one to one one to many, many to many, we have has one through, has many through. In all those cases, if we have some different naming convention of columns, simply by the help of these approaches, simply we can change and use those cases. So successfully guys, inside this video, we have covered, or uh, let's say a logical thing about relationship is all about concept of column name naming convention. So inside this video, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.